the F-15EX, the most powerful fourth-generation fighter on the planet. A few months back, the first-ever F-15EX took to the skies in a test flight that brought the U.S. Air Force that much closer to fielding what may be the most capable fourth-generation fighter on the planet. The F-15 has been in service for more than 45 years to date and is widely regarded as the most successful air superiority fighter in history. Today's successful flight proves the jet's safety and readiness to join our nation's fighter fleet, said Pratt Kumar, Boeing Vice President and F-15 Program Manager. Our workforce is excited to build a modern fighter aircraft for the U.S. Air Force. Our customer can feel confident in its decision to invest in this platform that is capable of incorporating the latest advanced battle management systems, sensors, and weapons due to the jet's digital airframe design and open mission systems architecture. Most of the world still relies on fourth-generation fighters for engagements in the sky, which means the F-15EX may have some stiff competition. But this new bird isn't resting on the F-15's historic laurels. Instead, it just may be the baddest fighter of its generation anywhere on the planet. The United States currently maintains a fleet of around 230 F-15s in various trims, C D. These jets represent the crux of America's fourth-generation air intercept fighters. The F-22 Raptor was intended to serve as a replacement for the F-15, but the program was canceled after just 186 Raptors were delivered. The new F-15AX boasts updated cockpit systems, an enhanced sensor suite and data fusion capabilities, and the ability to carry up to 29,500 pounds of ordnance split into 12 air-to-air hardpoints or 15 air-to-ground hardpoints. Its new twin engines aren't just more efficient, they're also more powerful, making the fastest fighter in America's inventory even faster. The F-15EX isn't stealthy, but it does boast an electronic warfare suite that will help make it more survivable in contested airspace. Its streamlined pilot interface borrows from some fifth-generation technology, integrating information into easier-to-manage displays that allow the pilot to focus more on the battle space than the gauge cluster. This not only improves pilot performance, it also reduces fatigue on long missions. In order to keep pace with new weapons as they emerge, the F-15EX leverages what Boeing calls an open mission system architecture, designed specifically to be able to absorb new tech as it reaches the field. Importantly, however, the new F-15s retain around 80% of the old F-15 design, making them easy for maintainers to adapt to. Instead of having to train for an entirely new platform, they need only to train for the more modern additions to a jet they're already intimately familiar with.